Today's October 29th. Tomorrow brings me six days away from my competition on Saturday, November 4th, the MPC East Coast. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because it starts a bit of a extreme carb loading phase of the prep. Um, up until now, I've been really depleting my body of carbs. T today's 25 grams of carbs, which is uh, you know probably one bar, one, one health bar. Um, yesterday was 50. So the idea starting tomorrow is my body's really depleted of carbs and surging carbs into the body paired with uh, strength training really gets the carbohydrates um, stored in your muscle tissue, kind of sucks it in like a dry sponge that's absorbing into water. So that will make my muscles uh, start to look fuller and then I'll taper down the carbs throughout the week. And uh, a lot of people um, I read about talk about doing this carb loading and so on just a day or two before the competition, which um, I find uncomfortable because it doesn't give you really any time to modulate if you mess up something. So I start that in, on, on Monday and it gives me plenty of time to go up or down on things if I'm uh, not look, liking the way I see. So I thought I'd give you a kind of sneak peek behind the scenes of uh, what I did with the meals because as you can see, I spend a lot of time with the food prep, mostly because I like to get my food um, from natural foods as much as possible, and uh, I really enjoy actually the process. So I'm eating six meals tomorrow. My total uh, macros for tomorrow is pushing around um, 2,500 or so, actually 2,445, 2,445 calories, 192 grams of protein, 327 carbs. So again, today, 25 grams of carbs. Yesterday, 50. Tomorrow, 327. Fats, 41. This is going to be eaten over six, uh, six meals. And um, meal number one is on the left. I'm going to have this right before I go to the gym. This is uh, organic creamy buckwheat. It's uh, by a company called Bob's Red Mill. They make a lot of good oatmeal. And then um, just put some cinnamon in there. On top, I have a piece of white bread. I uh, eat organic Dave's Killer Bread. They don't use ble bleached flour. Um, what you don't see is I'll also have a small thing of 0% Greek Fayet yogurt. And then on top of the bread is a sweet strawberry jam by a company called Good Good. There's uh, very little uh, sugar in there. That's actually um, just uh, probably about 60, 60 uh, calories, 5 carbs, just to get some sweet taste in there. So that's meal one, which will be around 5 a.m. Next meal is my post-workout meal. This is uh, just general cornflakes. Um, mixed in there is fat-free ultra-filtered milk by Fairlife. I have uh, a banana, medium-sized banana. And then in the front here is uh, pulled rotisserie chicken from Dearborn's actually. They have a really good uh, chicken you can buy pre-made and there's no um, really additives or preservatives in there and uh, there is a little bit of oil so it adds to the fat but um, I mixed in there some uh, hot chili sauce just to give it some kick so I know you're like uh, cereal bananas and spicy chicken like yeah so I'm really eating not to uh, for taste it's just for fuel meal number three this I'm really looking forward to this is uh, on the top, obviously, a piece of an avocado, and I sprinkled some cayenne red pepper. Now, mixed in here is a hodgepodge of a few things. I've got on the bottom this uh, Thai, it's called a taste of Thai. It's just a rice noodle linguine. And then mixed on top, I've got a wild-caught Atlantic cod, which I made earlier in the week. Um, that rotisserie chicken again. And then on top, I've mixed in... Uh, to basil tomato sauce from a company called Yo Mama's. It's a brand I got at uh, Shop and Stop. It's got no preservatives in there. A little bit more expensive that, than you see like in a canned jar, but uh, pretty healthy for you. Meal number four. So just timing wise. So that's on the left, 5 a.m. This will be probably 7.30, 11-ish, 2-ish, this one here. And this is a boring meal. It's um, that cod again, six ounces, four ounces of sweet potato, and then uh, just long grain white rice underneath the cod. But this is 60 grams of carbs. I mean, I um, in one meal, I'm doubling. In this one meal, doubling what I'm having in a whole day today. Um, for dinner, 
which will be around 6-ish, 6.30, is just cod again and rice. And I actually do have a meal kind of right before I go to bed. Um, kind of helps with, I find, personally speaking, there's nothing wrong with eating late at night paired with a good strength training or exercise regimen, but uh, helps the body kind of keep it fueled throughout the day and night as it goes through a sleep and recovering. But this is just uh, that Dave's White killer bread again with that sweet strawberry jam. So so all in all, uh, this is my meal for tomorrow and I'm gonna make variations of this throughout the week. I'm gonna start tapering down the carbs from like 325 down to probably 275 down to 220, but um, by Thursday-ish, it'll be down to like 150. And the thinking there is again, in the beginning of the week, kind of uh, build up the muscles with the, the glycogen and then with the exercising, kind of don't overdo it. So I wanna make sure it doesn't spill over and have the carbs um, going into my fat tissue and, and excess energy, which will increase the size of my fat tissue and uh, or fat cells and put on some weight. So that's the general idea. So I wanted to uh, check in with this in case anyone's interested, the effort that goes behind the eating habits here. Until next time, guys.